How you doing, folks? Welcome back to Paul Paul John's Homesteading Channel. Today I'm just going to go and uh, put my deer plots in. It's a little late in the season. We're getting past the middle of October, and uh, it's it's been a really dry year this year. Is the reason why I've held off. But uh, I really want to have something for the animals. I've had deer up here already. You know, going through the field that's tilled up, and uh, really need to try to do something for them. So I'm gonna do that and get a little water on it. And uh, just wanna show you what I'm doing on this video. A couple things when you're when you're uh, doing your food plots, everybody knows this. On your bags, it'll tell you how many square feet it'll cover. Most of you out there know that an acre covers 43,560 square feet. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and get my paper. I had to write it down. <laughs> so anyway, so the bag that's on the tractor here behind me, it, it'll it cover a half an acre. Uh, it'll cover all of that I have tilled up now and, and without a problem. Um, I'm just gonna I'll do a little bit of math after this and figure out how much of the bag to put out and go ahead and get that in the ground. Back to the coverage. It, that just gives you an idea of how much how much uh, seed you need to put in the ground for them. And you can always go back and seed over with other seed. And they get in there eating it up, you can go in and, and seed over it again and just lightly hair it enough to seed fall in the ground. The way I'm doing this today is I'm gonna go down here, to, there's three different spots. I'm gonna till it one time. I tilled it the other day, but I'm gonna till it one more time. I'm gonna go down to the woods, we're gonna go ahead and Put a new salt block out. They eat my other one completely to the ground. I'll show you that when we get there. I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'm not doing it the way I have been doing it. I'm just gonna use the tiller, which won't hurt the seed. It'll uh, loosen the dirt, let the seed fall in, and, and they'll be covered. I won't have to worry about the animals and critters eating them up before it has a chance to sprout. So I'm gonna get that done. Uh, probably won't get it watered tonight because I'm gonna have to run a a uh, line down here to the to the spots and uh, run a sprinkler and put some uh, put some water out. That's just to get it all you know sprouted and, and ready to go. Uh, may wind up having to water it again. We're not getting any rain here lately. It's uh it's been mighty dry this year. So anyway, well come on along. I'm gonna film a little bit of this uh, different. I'm just gonna go get my hat holder and put the camera on the hat. Be right back. Uh, maybe this thing won't fall off. When I go ahead and put it on, we're gonna take a little ride. come through here tornado I don't know if you can see that there you go got a wide open space now all those trees same
this is it. I come down and till this dirt the other day. I'm just gonna put the seed down, cut this a little bit, turn it over, seed will fall down in, wet it, and it'll uh, do what it needs to do. Before we get started, I wanna see this here. This here is where they uh, have uh, come in here, actually dug a hole. I put minerals on these pieces of wood. Oh, look at that spider. Put minerals on these pieces of wood. You see? They got. And they have eat this complete stump here. All that is where the deer has been eating on it. Deer and squirrels. Uh, anyhow, I'm gonna get this thing seated real quick. Till it in. Be ready to go. I have to replant this two or three times this year. Seed, seeds in. Now it's time for the mineral block. I'll leave these here. They'll, uh, they'll actually continue to eat on those. But that mineral will run down inside of that stump, and they'll start eating it. Well, a piece of wood, not stump. But they'll start. They they lick on it to get the minerals, and uh, they'll eventually eat this this down too. Everybody uses something different. There's no secret to get some minerals to them. It helps them with their diet. All it is, salt, a few other minerals, trace minerals. If you got a way to, if you got a way to uh, secure it, and they may push that off. If you got a way to secure it, it's better to do that and also put it up under cover. I'll leave that there. They'll probably knock it off. I'll probably have to come back and put it up here again. We'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, the second take of this. Actually, the first one didn't take. <laughs> Folks, uh, I'm down here putting this food pot in. I've already seeded it. I'm gone over it once. I'm gonna go over it one more time just to get a video of it. <laughs> Something I need to caution you about being in the woods. I meant to touch on this earlier. Uh, watch where you're stepping. <laughs> Wear your snake boots if you're going in some high grass. You can't see the ground because they are still out. Well, that there is a game changer, folks. There's no no regrets at all buying that tiller this year. Um, that's going to get a lot of use out of it. Come on, I'll show you what it did. Any of you putting food plots in, tiller is the way to go. That is a time saver. Just look how good a job it did. Believe it or not, this had to be planted a couple of times this fall. All right. It's all 
boss out. And uh, one dirt plot in. Time to get the other one done. Other two done. Let's roll. It won't take but about a quarter of a bag to seed this. I'm gonna go ahead and seed this and till it and we'll move on to the next plot and that'll be it for a food plot. I figure this is going to take five or six. So I'm just trying to keep it gauged to that and watching my seed as they hit the ground. That's about a quarter of the bag. And uh, if I got that spread, I jump on the tractor here and uh, run up and down the field and just cover it up a little bit. And that's it right there. That'll be pretty and green here in a couple of weeks. Just get a little water on it. Plenty of water, plenty of moisture in the ground. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up. I'll let you watch from the sidelines. Be quick. We're gonna have to be quick. The sun's getting ready to go down. I'm gonna run to the other spot real quick. Uh, put you on the fence and uh, let you see the last food pot. Get that done real quick and uh, call it a day. But uh, I'll show you here. There's the sun. There's the other food plot right down there.
Well, that's it, folks. Got it in, and you see behind me, the sun is just going down, which it just did beat it. I'm gonna do a drive by, show you this. I appreciate you watching. If you got a question, leave a comment. Be glad to hear from you. Uh, I'll answer what I can. I just keep it to the homestead and stuff. If you could. Uh, I really appreciate you watching, folks. I hope to see you again, and uh, I'll see you then.